if you live in my world, you <laughs> will get a lot of emails from very kind people not having a go at anybody, right? They're very polite. Get emails from people who will explain to me some antenna, right? I'll just invent something. Normally, it's a ton of text, and I'm not very good at text, right? Particularly if it's more than about three lines. Sometimes it goes on and on and on and on, and I don't know what the question is. And then they explain that they've got this, they want to connect something to the bottom of a tower and then go off here and then over an oak tree and then over here. Then they're going to come back, they're going to use a mast here and along there and they're going to ground this, or whatever, okay? And they ask me, this, will it work? Okay? So, I think it's very important to have a de definition of work, all right? So Rowley, years ago, he used to teach ham radio in New Zealand. I remember telling me, I was on one of the live streams years ago. He had a, I don't know, a piece of wood or something with a six inch nail in it. And they they got it working on, on it. He got it working on the 10 meter band, the big tuna thing. And he made a contact, DX contact on a six inch nail, okay? So will it work? Well, yeah. The point is, if you can get some RF into something, whether it be step ladders or, or this, or up the tree and back round down to the kitchen sink, it, it almost work. Okay, now I think where we are, where we are missing a trick, is what is the definition of work? There we are. So for me, my will it work is I wanted an antenna, right? I always want an antenna. This is my perfect antenna that, that reliably transmits and receives. I don't need any more out, any outboard tuner. I can use some bog standard coax. I, I'm into the high quality end of the coax, but I, and I need coax. And it'll do multi-band, okay? I mean, that's what I like, right? Because sometimes I might want to run an amplifier, and sometimes I might not want to run an amplifier. So let's say, um, you know, I can't, I was trying not to use the word DX Commander. But DX Commander is a vertical, and we know that, is a vertical with a number of elements that were 40, 20, 17, whatever, 12, 10, one for 30 in here somewhere. And we know that we get a less than 1.1, uh, 1.5 to 1 SWR. By the way, SWR doesn't mean to say it's working, all right? That just means there's a reasonable match between your radio, the coax, and the antenna. So, but anyway, but with hundreds and hundreds of contacts and thousands of customers, everybody's worked out, oh yeah, that works, as designed, with few radials on the ground, that was better than my little fan dipole I had, or whatever. It just works, okay? So in that regard, we can say, yes, it does work. So that's my kind of 100% mark, all right? That's where I'm aiming for. But I'll get people who will say, I'm thinking of taking your DX Commander and I'm going to do something completely different with it. I'm going to put it on a garage roof. I'm going to strap it to the chimney. I'm going to put a piece of wire, whatever. Yeah, I'll get all this, right? <laughs> I'll get all this. This is what I'm going to do. Will it work? The answer is, I, I, I might actually send people to this video in future when they do this. I'll say, oh, watch this. This will tell you if it will work or not. It will always work, okay? It's how well. This works well for me and lots and lots of other people. If you want to do it a different way, it'll just work differently. I don't know how well because I'm not a magician. I don't, I don't know, all right? But in the main, it'll just work, and you'll probably be happy with it, okay? But it might mean you need an ATU because it's a bit of a mismatch. It might be it's really difficult to maintain. If you put it, you put everything on a roof, you've then got to be able to get to the roof, take it all down, maintain it, put it back up again. 
right? Life becomes really hard if you do anything other than what I've designed, right? But you try it. Just, just go and try it. In mean, Rowley, I remember one on the live streams, you know, he said, give it a go, give it a go. But will it work? I don't know. I don't know. For me, for me, the definition of will it work is just, I'm, I'm as best as I can get it, all right? But your definition of will it work, bloody hell, I remember going to, I went to a field day, you know, with the, the local club, you know, and there's guys there. I haven't got radio in front of me, you know, with a little 817 or whatever, whatever it is. The, the nastiest bit of second-hand RG58 they can find. Far too much of it, so they just coiled it all up. Into this, some weird contraption that you can buy, you know, the lizard, right? <laughs> the crocodile, whatever it is, you know. They screw these things in and adjust the coils and whatever else. Now we're getting a match on, say, 40 metres. Um... I mean, I suppose it worked because they could hear people. I don't think any of them ever made a bloody contact on it. But I want to transmit and receive. I don't just want to hear baloney. I want to get a contact. And that's what I do. And will it work is my transmit and receive. So there we are. Will it work? I don't know. Have you ever had... Have you, have, have you made an antenna which you thought would work but didn't? I have a couple of times. Maybe we'll cover that at a later date. All right, well, that's all. Will it work? I've got no idea. Go and find out. Give it a go. Get yourself a six inch now and a big tuner. And you can also do what Rowley did. Next video is coming up here. Have a jolly good day. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.